Hey everyone, Alain Grignon here. Wanted to talk a little bit about this t-shirt and how it inspired me to design and build the water motor I'll be showing you in a bit. Now from the moment Rob announced this competition, I was determined to improve their rain fuel cells. I tested and tried a number of different rain fuel cells. I started with Rob's original cell and reproduced it exactly. Then I tried variations of that cell, like adding electrodes to the cell, or even changing how much of the cell I would paint with Verithe. Then I went back to the very beginning and looked at the triboelectric series, tried to see what other materials I could use to build my own cell. Like for instance, I used aluminum oxide sandpaper and silicon in one of my cells. Now while doing this, I even managed to invent a rain and solar cell, patent pending, which could generate up to 0.5 volts from the sun and one volt from water. Though none of these experiments got me even remotely close to lighting an LED, I learned a lot about what works and what doesn't. Ultimately, I had to give up on the cells and just build something that works. Something like this. Now this is the hoverboard motor that came from my wind generator and a hood fan assembly that I took out of an old microwave hood fan, attached them together, and from that I was able to point a jet of water across these blades, make this turn, and light an LED from the wires at the end. This little water motor was able to generate 13 volts of electricity at 160 milliamps, roughly 2 watts of electricity. All this to say that it was just by doing it and not giving up that I managed to get this entry in for this competition. So why not follow my lead? Just do it. Put a like on this video. Thanks for watching.